our military, our first responders, and for our life at the end. <coughs> Let's remember our pastor. They announced oh, today yeah. he's supposed to preach next Sunday. Pastor Friday, Rick. Saturday, and Sunday. Boy, he's going to hit it running. So he needs to really have the Lord's strength. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? Well, I talked to Tony Isaacs at length yesterday, and uh, he said that he had a setback. He's had his uh, ninth chemotherapy treatment. I believe that's right. And uh, so he's still under treatment, you know. And I guess uh, they check ever so many days and check his blood and so forth. But he was up here recording an announcement or whatever Thursday. Tony talked with him, so I didn't know if he was in town or if he was in North Carolina. But he's here, so we need to pray for him. I, you know, the last time he preached, he really gave it all he had, and I think, I think he overdid it, really. Okay, let's go to Lord in prayer. Oh, I'm sorry. That little girl, Avery, that I brought she was four years old. She's been fighting leukemia. She just turned 10 today. Well, that's a praise. No, okay. no. As um, about a year and a half ago, when they thought it was clear again, it all came back. So um, she's going through some heavy duty treatment that they use on adults. Mm. Otherwise, she's going to have to have a second bone marrow transplant. Oh, so we need to, right, right now, for two weeks, she's good. Right. These cells did not show up. Right. Okay, whatever. T cells, B cells. But they're asking for heavy okay. duty prayer. Okay. Ten years old, she's a beautiful child. Thank you. Okay. okay. Lord Jesus, we come to you in prayer. And first things first, we want to say how much we, uh, we praise you. We praise you. There's always problems and things going on, that miracles that we need and that we ask for things we ask for for other people uh, but uh, most of all we want to praise you because there's so many miracles you've already delivered and deliver every single day miracles that most people take for granted and we want to praise you and rejoice in you all, all the time all the time but but there are people that are going through real struggles your people saved people unsaved people people going through all sorts of troubles we have so many people we want to pray for all the people the friends and relatives, the sons and daughters who are going through terrible health problems. Martin uh, is going through uh, uh, problems, and but he and also people that want sal that need salvation, like Martin and Todd and all our children. And we've got Bridget in ICU and Renee in ICU and James Marshall, and he's got a brain problem and he's in ICU or just got out. And Fred was just hit by a truck, and uh, we have. Uh, so many people that are having so many uh, difficult times. Pastor Rick is going through chemotherapy and such a godly man and always trusting in you. And Avery, that young girl is only 10 years old, who's got leukemia. And we're praying for a miracle that all the cancer be totally wiped out and this treatment worked and that the doctors have the ability and the skill to do this. Lord, we're praying for our country, the United States, for this administration for Congress, for the entire government. We're praying for the world and, and, and some of the problems in this world, the people being slaughtered and being persecuted, yes. Christians, Christians, non-Christians, just terrible things, these acts of terror. We pray that these people find salvation and they come to you, Lord. We, we pray for our military, we pray for our Alive Again and all the ministries that preach the gospel and try to help recovering alcoholics and addicts and people, people who have all sorts of hurts and problems and uh, lost people, lost people. We pray for uh, our first responders, pray for, as they said, our country. Pray for Pauline. Lord, she's yeah. uh, at a concert, and we're hoping that's going well. My daughter, Alex, who's on a plane, and I'm going to uh, prayerfully pick her up uh, soon. Pray for the whole world. If Fred was here, he'd want us to pray for the whole world, and then the whole world again. So everything that, that Fred would want us to pray for, you know what's in his heart, and and also we have a lot of unspoken prayers. You know, we have people here, unspoken prayers, maybe a prayer they forgot, or, you know, as they're, as they're leaving, they'll say, wow, I wish I would have prayed for that person, but, you know, there are unspoken prayers, and we're praying for that. We're praying for the message tonight. 
Pastor Kerry's message tonight. We're praying for the individuals that are going to listen to the message, that it reaches the whole world and all the people that are listening to the message and that they have ears to hear and eyes to see. And we thank you once again. We pray for all the churches in our community and all over the world, but specifically in our community. And there's, we're just blessed to have so many incredible churches that preach the gospel and, uh, and believe Bible-believing churches that preach the gospel. And Christ Fellowship is one of them. Uh, all cut the prayers. We got. We just got a lot of great churches, and we pray for all those churches. And we want, we want people to just flock to those churches and to those, to the preachers. That and all we pray for all the pastors. You know, it's a difficult yeah. charge to be a senior pastor and an executive pastor, and all the people that work for the Lord, all the evangelists. We're praying for them. We ask you all these things in your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay. And uh, next one, I think you'll recognize this song. It's one, what was it? Let me see, 140, yeah. 138. 138, I think you'll recognize this song. I think you'll recognize this song. Okay, well, we're going to do the old rugged cross, and then we're going to take up our, our collection. So, What page are you in? This is on 141, that's right. You guys know this song, the old rugged Have you ever heard this? Doris, you've heard this song before, right? You know, I think you, okay, let's, let's, do you know this song? Maestro? You skipped 223. I skipped the song? 223. That's why we're puzzled. Oh, that's why you're puzzled. Oh, my Lord, what did I do? Oh, I have it. Oh, 
I thought we took one. You're just eager to eat Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> okay, we'll save the old, you've got to reprieve from the old rugged cross. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to do hallelujah, okay?
So much we got, we have a time quote on this. <laughs> oh, becoming fanatic. <laughs> they would go on, they go on for three hours. You know, they go on for three hours. They would. <laughs> yeah. Only in a Baptist church. Okay. <laughs> we're going to sing, we're going to sing, now we're going to sing, uh, what are we going to sing? We're going to sing old, the old rugged cross now. Then we're going to take up the collection, then we're going to sing our. Last hymn before the uh, before the sermon. Okay, so the old rugged cross. This is one forty one.
have the collection, so those charged with uh, helping with the collection, if you come up, say a brief prayer, the offering. Okay, thank you, John. Lord Jesus, we, we are so grateful that you are allowing us to worship you and to know you and to have a relationship with you. And these small tokens, mm -hmm. these tokens of our trust in you and our yes. love for you and our, our, our hope that they can be used to, to be multiplied, that the funds that are given are multiplied so that the gospel message can be spread throughout the world as you commanded us to do, to make disciples and spread it throughout the world. We want to make sure that every, every cent, every, every dime, every quarter and dollar is used to, and is multiplied greatly so that it brings people to the cross and to accept you as our Lord and Savior. We ask you for this, and, and we, we bless these funds that we're about to see in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Dwayne. treat for you guys. For those who are listening, thank you very much. And we're so grateful to have Fillmore here. He's, he's hey, filling in for right. and he's, he's faithful and he always fills in. And he's just beautiful. His music is beautiful. And we're so glad you're here, uh, Fillmore. And uh, and for those who are just sort of humming along with that song and say, well, oh, is that a pretty song? It's so pretty. I know whom I believe. That happens to be our next song, 337. So we're going to get to sing that. So go ahead. Oh! 
eternal security. In other words, as my grandfather used to say, that's once saved, always saved. Amen? Amen. When the Bible says you have to be quick <laughs> while I'm moving here, I'm going to keep up because we're running short of time tonight. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. I want you to know we have the joker here tonight <laughs> in full dress. No. And I told him it was such an improvement, I thought he ought to just <laughs> come like that all the time. Love you too, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had his daughter face painting, and he didn't have time to get it off before he came to church. <laughs> and I thought for all the people who are watching on, uh, on uh, yeah, I get over this a little bit. On the internet, we needed to give a little explanation for Jeff. Is that good? Now, I want you to know that... Uh, Jeff is a brother to the lawyer who's been leading our music tonight. <laughs> and, uh, you notice the resemblance. Yeah, the resemblance. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know who's trying to outdo who. Oh, boy. But I do want us to pray for Russell as he goes yeah. to California. His dad's in, in the hospice. He's, uh, for some reason, waiting for the Lord. You know, he may be waiting for the Lord's return. I don't know. Wow. But, you know, we've been preaching about that. If you've been tuned in and you've been listening, we preached last week on ready for the Lord's return. 